I'm Lauren Bush and I'm a senior. I'm Lauren Hunt and I'm also a senior. I'm Ryan Stevens and I am also a senior. So the product that we, oh, is she talking? <laughs> Our product that we produce is called the Puppy Pouch. It is a belt to help you carry your items while you're taking your dog for a walk or like on a hike. So it's um, it's like it can hold like your cell phone, your keys, a water bottle, or like your doggy bag. And we came up with the idea by, I first had the idea to have like a grocery helper like for your dogs to be able to help to, you carry your groceries in. But then we kind of did our research and like found out some stuff on how like unreasonable that would be. So we started looking into other ideas. That was one of our problems. Like we were going to make it into a harness to carry the groceries in, like to help you carry groceries in. But we decided that was gonna either be like too big or too heavy for the dog. So we redesigned it and made it into a belt, which is much smaller and it'll help you like carry stuff on walks. And it's all, it also um, is like for a bigger market since the grocery idea, like people with smaller dogs can't really do that. So this just allows more people to like want the product or need it. And for this product, our like purpose in it was just to find an easier way to carry your belongings when you're like with your dog. And uh, like Laura Hunt said, um, like we just kind of, moved away from the grocery bag idea just because we tested that actually and the bags were literally just scraping on the ground every time I put it on the dog. So when I was making the prototype, I decided to just put some little water bottle pouches on the sides. And then when me and my, uh, my friend's dad put the water bottles inside the pouches, they literally just like fit perfectly. And it seemed like the best thing to do. So we just decided to change it. And the features that it has are military grade Velcro, which ensures that the belt won't come loose at all. And it won't, <laughs> it like literally whatever you do, if the dog chases after a squirrel, you will not lose your belongings. Um, there's additional padding on the backside of the dog. So the dog is not comfortable and scratched by the Velcro. And it also has padding on the inside of the pouches for support for your water bottles and other belongings you may put on there. And there are two sides of the pouches, which holds twice as many belongings and is easy access. One thing that I got out of this project was being able to transform an idea into something real and like become successful with it and making the product. Something that I learned from this was um, just like if I'm making a product like this in the future, uh, maybe just try to stick with something small or maybe just try to find a bigger market than just medium and large size dogs because the product that we have now would only fit a certain type. And uh, if you go through our presentation, I think it's on the prototype slide, it literally says uh, the the product that we made is for medium and large size dogs. So. Maybe just uh, the thing that I learned was to expand my uh, category of markets and uh, probably not to s stick with something so tunnel visioned in my product in the future. For me, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, for me, I think something <clears throat> that I learned was just like, when creating an idea, just to keep an open mind to change for that idea and just like roll with it, I guess, until you, you find something that works best. Um, so basically with uh, us three going off to college and us being very busy in the near future, we're gonna hold off on the products uh, with it adding on to things and subtracting things just because we've gone about as far as we can go with it. But uh, in the future, like I said, just maybe expand our market a little bit and uh, add a few new features, maybe upgrade from the water bottle uh, feature and add something like carrying your phone and stuff like that. But um, if you have any other questions about the product, you can email me at 20stevensr at riversideschools.net. And the other emails for the two other uh, presenters are in the last slides. Thank you.